How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel for Minecraft's craziest snapshot ever. And looking at this, you may think it looks like normal Minecraft, and that is totally true. Except for, if you may have seen in the bottom left, the game pushes these proposals to you while you play. You can vote on the solutions. Set sky color and nether wastes to eggplant, and deep lukewarm ocean to dark lilac. Nether waste darkish green, soul sand valley yellowish tan. We'll do deep lukewarm ocean to dark lilac. Who knows? It might come to fruition. And in 13 minutes, whenever no more people could vote, if you're playing on a server, it will apply. So, there's our first one. And obviously we could wait around, or I could just speed it up a little bit, right? You do slash vote, and then you do rule, and you just pick one. Or you can do one randomly. So we're going to start off with a random one, just to keep things spicy. Approve. Set foliage color and river to ochre. Everything looks the same. It's like a slight change in color, it looks like, from the normal vines in the jungle. However, there are some really interesting ones. So if we take a look and we go past this question mark, we just go do zombie apocalypse, for instance. Come nighttime, it spawns zombies that can then infect other mobs and turn them into zombies, which is obviously super cool. But some of them maybe we don't want to wait for. Maybe we want to look for, I don't know, Midas Touch? Which if you apply, if you know the story of King Midas, you know that everything he touched turned to gold. And that includes if we go to pick something up, like these melons that I'm about to break. You give it a little bit of time. Oh, actually, it just made him glistering melons. That's kind of cool. I like that it did that instead. Cocoa beans just drop three blocks of gold. I think if you break it with your hands, it drops Im it drops immediately into gold, but I don't know for sure. Guess not. Another block of gold. We walk through. It'll just break the grass. It'll leave a little gold trail everywhere we go. But the cool thing about this isn't blocks. It's creatures. So, like, if I come touch these fish, you get these fancy gold fish. And I didn't realize that it also worked on water, honestly. Which is just amazing. I don't know how fast you can walk, but it seems to keep up pretty well, as long as you're just walking. So who needs Frostwalker when you can turn everything to solid gold blocks? And then we'll check some of these. Persistent parrots, they will never leave you. Or reveal voters at the end of the round. That one's not super important in any way, shape, or form. Well, let's spice things up again. We'll leave Midas Touch for now. But you know, I'm really sick of being in this jungle. So I think we're gonna go down to M again. We're gonna go with Morrowind Power Player Movement. Approve. And we're just gonna we're just gonna leave. I'm just gonna go. I'm gone. Who needs to be in a jungle anymore? Also, this fall damage barely happens. Nope, still jungle? Okay, let's keep going. You know, I like this one here. I like oh, still jungle? Okay, well, I guess this one will have to stick. I really like that, though. Uh, well, now I like it less, because it's not nearly as cool looking as I thought it was. Disappointing. Yeah, let me free. Okay, there we go. So now, we'll just take a look and see what some of the other options are. We've got Zombie Apocalypse, we've got Morrowind stuff, Always Flying, Anonymized Skins, uh, Bedrock Shadows, whatever that does, Bee Loons. I want to see some balloons. Don't know what that even does. I think it'd be a lot of fun to do a series like this, where the world slowly gets more and more corrupted. World of Giants sounds like fun. It literally just makes every single mob huge. I'm about it. That's really cool. What else do we got? Hmm. Air blocks? Don't know what that does. Unlock edible air blocks, packed air to survive on moon, and rideable balloon cows to get there. Hold up a second. If that's the case, let's just have a little change of scenery, shall we? Let's go air. Um, functional blocks, air. Or is it packed air? I don't know. Oh, that poor squid. Ah, too high! Oh no. Hold up, I'm going to have to repeal Midas Touch, which thankfully, you can just do. 
Just like that. Now I won't turn my cows to gold anymore. Let's get some more air. And then I don't really need all this gold in my inventory, I'm gonna be honest. Let's go back to survival. Much better. Excuse me, cow. I don't know if the tree being above you will cause a problem, but I'm ready for liftoff. Are you? Why, he's not actually eating them. Is it because he's a giant? Here's the problem. Do you not want to go anywhere because you're a giant, or is it because there's a roof over your head? Maybe I need to find a cow without a roof over his head. Like this one. No, don't do this. Swim up. I'm not going to lie, the Morrowind movement's real hard. You dumb animal. That one was working, too. Oh, maybe it's because I couldn't hit his hip his hitbox. I'm, like, stuck in inside his bottom. I'm in him. But we're not going to have any takeoff like this, sir. We just sitting here forever? Oh, he got so big. He's massive. Maybe we go over to the plains. Go from there. Oh, God, so fast. Hello, B-loons. You guys actually do anything? You... I see that you're big, but, like, that's not what I did to you. Hello, cow. Do you not want to work? The other one did. Oh, God. I'm not allowed to jump while I'm doing this. Let's see what kind of options we got. Super bouncy slime blocks. Sounds fun. And if you want to do any of these and they're not quite working out for you or you just don't want to wait, you can slash vote, pending, finish, and then pick whichever one it may be. Who, who knows, honestly? It's kind of hard to tell. But, you know, we can just finish all of them, maybe. So right now we've got Zombie Apocalypse, Giants, Jeb, Parrots, Morrowind Power Gamer, Super Bouncy Slime Blocks, Beeloons, and Edible Air. So maybe we want to make everyone not giant anymore. So let's try to take care of that. Let's do vote, rule, uh, world of giants, repeal, and then we can have everyone normal sized and maybe it'll let me go to the moon so I can show that off a little bit. There we go. All right. Senor Cow, I am ready for liftoff in three, two. That was too early, Senor Cow. Oh well. And there's Earth, where we came from. And we can slow fall down to the surface of the moon. And while we're falling, I'm just gonna hop into creative mode really quick and grab a couple things. Just a few. We got some fancy new splash potions here. And they're all rainbowy, so it's kind of hard to tell what does what for a little bit. Let's grab a couple splash potions of small and big. And maybe a splash potion, potion of ray tracing. We'll do... Um, hmm... And a lay sounds like fun. What about an ender dragon? And then we'll do some frogs. We'll do those. So we've got all these cows around here, right? And that's, you know, that's fun. And if I wanted them to be just massive, that's a thing that could happen. Or if I want them to be the tiniest, cutest things in the world, it's also a thing that could happen, even though I accidentally hit myself. So, you know, whatever works. Take a little little flight here. And no, I'm not flying. That's just the zero gravity of the moon. I'm going back to Earth, aren't I? Or am I finally or am I gonna fall back down? I can't tell what happened here. Did it take me back to Earth because of my jump? I I jumped to Earth from the moon. Well. That's a problem. Excuse me, cows. Oh, look at all the zombies. They're gonna go around and corrupt everything. If I do this to a cow and I ride the cow and no, the zombies just take it from me. Cow, we gotta go. We gotta go. They're coming. Ah, here we are. Much better. We'll just slow fall down here. And you know what? Obviously, jumping is a problem, so we'll take care of that. We'll do vote rule, get rid of this, and we'll do Morrowind, power runner movement, whatever can go, right? Power player movement, repeal. Now we just move like your, your same old normal people, which is kind of disappointing. So I think we're going to become an LA instead. And if we have five here, wrong button, I'm 
actually just an LA. And if you've ever played around with the morph mod, you've seen that you, there is that ability to turn into other creatures and change sizes and health. And you get some of their abilities and stuff too, which is cool. But this is entirely inside of vanilla Minecraft. So this is just something that they have the option to do, which is kind of fun, honestly. And maybe the LA is just not intimidating enough for me. So I fly back down here. Nope, I wasn't low enough. I'll be a dragon this time. They also have the ability to fly like you would assume. So we're just going to take a little flight around the moon and see if there's anything interesting. We'll be right back. Ah, here we go. Here's one. So let's just come a little closer. You know what? I think I want to be a frog for this. So we trigger this thing here. We just watch. It doesn't look like much at first. And then it expands. Further and further, and we get this whole mess of interlocking pathways, and it already looks like a little bit of a mess, right? Well, just you wait. It's not done being a mess. Much better. Now it's just a it's a giant it's a giant shrub, and these these they're not a texture you've ever seen in normal Minecraft. These are copper spleeves. And if you touch them, they disappear, which is already weird. And this thing fills up with chests with random loot and stuff like snow blocks or whatever else you can find end stone, like actual end stone, not the end stone that's all around us. Because obviously, like, oh, what's the point in that? You can mine it from literally anywhere. Can you, though? If I come over here and I just tab back to survival, fall all the way down nice and slowly. Ooh, there's shulker boxes in here, too. I didn't even notice the shulker boxes. Hold up a second. I'll fall down nice and slowly in a minute. Shulker's got soul sand and iron, and these seem like the important ones. Let's just head on down to the surface of the moon here. Because it's most certainly not in stone. It looks like it. But have you ever heard that the moon is made out of cheese? Because it is. And it's not like they just changed the name on it. They also changed the property of how easy it is to mine, because it mines even faster than just, like, a block of dirt. So, I mean, if we want some cheese, we have some. Being a frog is fun and all. What if I want to be a giant frog? Now, the only problem I have is that you can't use, like, the frog attack. I can't spit my tongue out and turn these guys into frog lamps or whatever they're called. Which would be so cool. But oh well, I will make do. So definitely just give the snapshot a check, play around with it, have a good time. If you want me to try to do a series where I attempt to beat the Ender Dragon here, which may or may not end up being impossible because I'd have to set rules for myself like, well, you're not allowed to say no whenever a vote comes up. I'd have to accept every single one of them that isn't repealing something or whatever else we come up with. Floating head mode, who knows? And... Just see how things go. Man, look at the earth up there. It's so cool. Before I do anything else, bottle of ray tracing. This turned me into a dude named ray tracing. What? What? Okay. I think it just turned me into a dude named Ray. Anyways, yeah, I just wanted to show this off. It's crazy. It's cool. It reminds me a lot of the snapshot they had where you could write in a book and it would change the dimension that you could go into feels very similar i love this brand of chaos that they've brought to this and i hope you all did too that being said i hope you all enjoyed if you did please like the video leave a comment and subscribe to the channel thank you all for watching and i will see you all next time